Hi there, it's Steph. Thanks for popping by. Today I'm sharing with you another card I made using this paper smoochie stamp set called Out of Town. It's a holiday bright color summary card and I was inspired by fellow Instagrammers for the design. Um, I pre cut all my pieces beforehand because I knew what design I was going for and it's easier for filming. Um, I started ink blending with some Ranger Distress ink. I used Mold Lone, Tombow Glass, Squeezed Lemonade. Uh, spiced marmalade and barn door uh, and I basically just do some very simple ink blending all around the edges um, and for the last pieces I actually cut off a circle uh, that will glue uh, the front of my card so the front of my card is white but I still get uh, the color I want I use some Rangerman Multimedium to glue that uh, circle around the front card and it dries pretty quick so that's cool so I can go ahead with the rest of the card um, I also will add a little bit of ink um, around the inner edges of that front card, but that will be maybe afterwards. Uh, I just checked together all the pieces just to see that it fits all well and I'm quite happy with it. Here is the edges uh, colouring. Um, and then I will start stamping my images with some Memento Tuxedo Black, which is Copic resistant. Um, I'm going to do some simple... Um, Copy colouring. I use two or three different colours. Um, it's quite straightforward and um, I think it was quite well. Um, it's it's not a hard card to make um, and if you limit it in um, the same markers colours because you don't necessarily have Copics. Uh, so if you limited markers colours this one didn't require too many colours so that um, that's quite cool. Uh, then I started colouring my little mountains. I only have two one brown and one sand color for example and I do some tip-to-tip -tip technique and it works really well the only downside is that it does damage the tip a little bit so I know I will have to replace my tip eventually um, maybe sooner rather than later but uh, that's the only thing um, for the flowers I try to keep the colors really bright so it matches the rainbow colors that I've been trying to use throughout the card um, I'm doing an orange flower one yellow and a purple one because I didn't get a chance to add purple into the the card at that, until that point um, and I really wanted I wanted it really bright really I have a thing with rainbows <laughs> uh, they make me happy I don't know why but anyway that's how it works and just uh, as a hint a uh, tip uh, for that last flower I do have the pink e pinkish purple that I need so I'm basically using a bluish purple and a pink and then I'm putting them on top of each other and it gives me the right color so just in case you don't have the copics or the marker that you want you may want to try something like that you may be able to get a color that you're missing and that you need sometimes um, so then I put all my things together I snipped on the sides on the of the middle mountain and um, I tucked it in at the front so that you can see the little heel shape but um, the you don't see the flat um, bottom of the mountain so I think it works quite pretty well sorry I can't explain it very well but I think it works out pretty well uh, so then I glue all of that together and I start putting all my pieces together so I'm using some roll and glue uh, it's quite easy for that it's easier to apply and then I have also trimmed um, the bottom two layers a little bit so that they don't come out behind the first layer because the first layer is my card front and you know it's quite often if you put three layers exactly the same size they won't be like literally on the top of each other perfectly so I trim the back ones a little bit so there's a kind of hidden behind uh, and then when I glue it onto my card front it'll be fine then I add my little trays with some Ranger Multimedia, Matte Multimedia, uh, and same again, it dries quite quickly, so I can move ahead with the rest of uh, the card making, it's not holding me back. Um, I do add the little flowers, and then I will just use some acrylic stamping block, just to add a bit more weight and pressure on the glue, and then um, it, just, it just stays in place better. So my card was a little bit too big, I trimmed it and I rounded the edges, I put a ton of glue to make sure it sticks to the card properly, that one is not moving anytime soon, and I add it onto my card front, uh, I then cut all the corners of my card, um, and that is it for the um, card front. Uh, I'm also cutting, uh, no sorry, cutting stamping a banner uh, using the paper smoochies, of the chart stamp set 
and it's a happy birthday banner because that's I always do happy birthday or joyous anniversary because it's a kind it's a card I use the most really and um, you know you don't have weddings every day I mean there's been a few births recently but it's mostly birthdays on a regular basis so that's the card I do the most um once I was done with the coloring I used cool gray markers by the way for the banner I glued it onto my card front and used some blocks to keep it straight and then I add a bit of wink of Stella um onto my card I mean my pen my wink of Stella is pretty dry so it's very subtle but I do like a bit of glitter uh, then I add a buckler of glossy accent as I do um and it does add something I know, I get on and on again about it, but I do like it. It looks really good and I really need to buy more. <laughs> a mental note for me. And uh, I do pop the bubbles because I don't like seeing the bubbles pick through the glossy accent when it's dry or if they pop afterwards. Uh, I mean, it's rare, I think, but uh, I like the glossy accent to be smooth at the top. Um, so I pop the bubbles just to make sure that it's okay. Um, and I put quite a lot of glossy accent, as I said, so if you get a chance... I suggest that you put the glossy accent before you glue the stamped images onto the card. I unfortunately don't have time to do that, uh, not always, because uh, I have other commitments. Um, but it's sometimes it's better, uh, otherwise the paper warps or warp, sorry, or the images come off a bit of the paper. But then you can put them under books and you will flatten again. So you know it's just a tip. Um, so anyway, I hope you like it. I think it's very bright and colourful. Uh, if you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see closer photo, please head over to my blog. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye!